Okay, previously we've proven that there's a primitive root modulo any prime, and now we're working towards answering the question, given a natural number, when do we know if there is or is not a primitive root? And we're starting out with this following proposition. So for n bigger than or equal to 3, there are no primitive roots modulo 2 to the n. And so uh, there's a previous video where we show that there are no primitive roots um, modulo 8, which is 2 cubed, but we'll reproduce that proof here as a base case. And so uh, as noted, since we're doing that as a base case, we're going to prove that by induction. Um, <clears throat> And so our base case um, will be the following. It'll be n equals 3. And now notice, in order to have a primitive root modulo 2 to the 3, which is 8, well, we have to start with an odd number for the, uh, to, for the first place. And so the only things we need to check are the following. We need to check uh, that 1 does not have order 4, which is phi of 8, that 3 does not have order 4, which is phi of 8, that 5 and that 7 also do not have order 4, which is phi of 8. And we'll do that by showing that they all have order 2 or less. So 1 squared is obviously congruent to 1 mod 8. So that actually has order 1. 3 squared is equal to 9, which is congruent to 1 mod 8. 5 squared is equal to 25, which is also congruent to 1 mod 8. And finally, 7 squared is equal to 49, which is also congruent to 1 mod 8. So what that tells us is that there is no integer of order 4, which is phi of 8, um, modulo 8. In other words, there are no primitive roots modulo 8. And now what we want to do is um, go on with the uh, induction by taking an induction hypothesis, and we'll use this base case as a inspiration. So notice what we needed is something of order 4, but we got a bunch of things of order 2. So what we'll do is we'll raise everything to half the necessary order in order to have a primitive root. So uh, let's maybe first notice the following. A primitive root would be odd and have order phi of 2 to the n, which is 2 to the n minus 2 to the n minus 1, which is 2 to the n minus 1. Great, so 2 to the 3 minus 1 is 2 squared, which is 4, but we got a lot of things that were of order um, 2. So what we'll show is that everything, in fact, has order 2 to the n minus 2. So we'll show that if a is odd, and I shouldn't say order, I should say order at most, um, a to the 2 to the n minus 2 is congruent to 1 mod 2 to the n. And this is for all n bigger than or equal to 3. Great. And as I pointed out, we're doing that by induction. We've kind of already done the base case. And now we'll make an induction hypothesis. And that is suppose for some k bigger than or equal to 3, we have a to the 2 to the k minus 2 is congruent to 1 mod 2 to the k. But now, notice that means that we can write a to the 2 to the k minus 2 equals 1 plus um, l times 2 to the k, where l is some integer. That's just the definition of congruence modulo 2 to the k. Now, the next thing we want to do is square both sides of this equation. So squaring both sides of this equation will give us a to the 2 to the k minus 1, 
So we'll have an exponent at ex exponent to an exponent, which is multiplying the exponent. So if we take twice two to the k minus two, we get two to the k minus one. And we'll notice that this is equal to one plus, um, and now if we square this side, we're gonna get two L times two to the k plus um, L squared times uh, two to the two K. Good. But now notice we can write all of that as one plus two K plus one times L prime, where uh, L prime is what we get from putting all that together. Notice here we have uh, two multiplying onto two K gives us two uh, K plus one. And then since K is bigger than or equal to three, we know that two K is bigger than K plus one. So we can factor a two to the K plus one out. But now notice that this is equal to um, one mod, 2k plus 1, and that tells us that the order of A is less than um, or equal to 2 to the k minus 1. Um, but what we need it to be is this is strictly less than 2 to the k, but since we're working modulo 2 to the k plus 1, that means that A is not a primitive root. Okay, great. So that finishes this proof. <clears throat> we'll continue along this string of results working up towards uh, classifying numbers which have primitive roots and ones that don't.